Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we will be discussing very important question which is important for six months. That is the effect of an autonomous change in aggregate demand on income and output. So we will be discussing what is the effect of change in aggregate demand on income and output here we took effect of an autonomous change in aggregate demand if you consider aggregate demand in the two sector economy it includes consumption plus investment again if we consider this consumption consumption can be written as C bar plus C Y plus I bar. So in this aggregate demand, if we consider C bar and I bar, this we call it as autonomous expenditure. What we call it as autonomous expenditure. So any one of this changes, that means autonomous change in aggregate demand on income and output that we will be discussing so now let us start the effect discussion on the effect of an autonomous change in aggregate demand on income and output see here the equilibrium level of income depends on aggregate demand so what we are talking equilibrium level of income of an economy depends on total demand in the economy i repeat once again equilibrium income of a nation always depends on the total demand or aggregate demand in the economy if aggregate demand changes then equilibrium level of income also changes so you have to keep in your mind dear students when aggregate demand is going to increase the income of the economy or equilibrium level of income of the economy is going to increase that means change in aggregate demand brings a change in equilibrium level of income now you have to observe this one aggregate demand changes due to change in consumption and change in investment so already we know the equation for aggregate demand aggregate demand is equal to consumption plus investment according to two sector economy but if you consider four sector economy we know that aggregate demand is equal to consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus export minus imports as we are taking only two sector economy then aggregate demand is equal to consumption plus investment so this aggregate demand is going to change due to change in consumption and change in investment so here because of two reasons aggregate demand is going to change one is change in consumption another one is change in investment here as already we discussed consumption is equal to c bar plus c y what is c bar c bar is a autonomous consumption and c y is a induced consumption so consumption changes due to change in c bar change in c bar means autonomous consumption if you are spending 10 rupees for buying the very essential things which are essential for survival of a person now suddenly if you are going to spend that is 15 rupees so the autonomous consumption which was 10 rupees now it has become 15 so there is a change in autonomous consumption that is one thing and even there may be a possibility of change in marginal propensity to consume 
this marginal propensity to consume what is marginal propensity to consume so it is along with the induced consumption see the consumption which depends on income for example if you earn 100 rupees then if you decide that the marginal propensity to consume is 8 0 0.8 means 80 percent of increased income is used for consumption means then 100 what additional income you are getting 100 100 into 0 0.8 is equal to 80 rupees so 80 rupees you are going to consume for example this 0 0.8 which we call it as mpcr a small c which we are using in the place of marginal propensity to consume you can substitute as 0 0.9 so the marginal propensity to consume has increased when increases to 0 0.9 instead of spending 80 rupees now you are going to spend 90 rupees because you are using 90 percent of your increased income for consumption so the consumption changes due to change in the autonomous consumption or due to change in the marginal propensity to consume. And next one is change in investment. See, investment changes due to change in autonomous investment. Already in the previous video, we discussed that autonomous investment, it remains constant or same, whatever may be the level of income. That type of investment we call it as autonomous investment and in our analysis we assumed like that it remains constant. If investment changes means it changes according to the rate of interest because we call investment is a function of rate of interest. There is an inverse relationship that means there is an opposite relationship. If rate of interest increases means investment is going to decrease if a rate of interest is going to decrease then investment is going to increase so there is an inverse relationship between the rate of interest and investment see here investment increases as rate of interest falls and vice versa the change in aggregate demand leads to change in the level of income can be explained with the help of a diagram See here, increase in income is due to increase in investment, which is a component of autonomous expenditure here. See, I repeat once again, what we discussed, aggregate demand is equal to C bar plus I bar plus Cy, right? These are the components of aggregate demand. Now we are talking that the income of the economy is going to change due to change in the aggregate demand when the income of nation equilibrium level of income is going to change due to change in the aggregate demand here, here we are not going to change all the components of aggregate demand here we took only change in the investment other things remains constant even if investment changes then aggregate demand is going to change for example if a Autonomous consumption is 10 plus investment was 10 plus induced consumption is 20, then this is equal to 40. But if in this investment instead of 10, if it is becomes 20, only investment has changed, other two remains constant, definitely aggregate demand is going to be 50, not 40. So due to change in investment, there will be increase in income of a, an economy and this investment is a component of aggregate demand as we discussed investment changes means investment changes means there will be change in the equilibrium level of income this we can understand with the help of a diagram you can see on x-axis we have measured income on y axis we measured aggregate demand aggregate demand is equal to consumption plus investment so here the original equilibrium e1 is the original equilibrium or initial equilibrium and this is the aggregate you can see which i am highlighting with a red color 
you can see this is the aggregate supply and this is the aggregate demand you can see this is the aggregate demand so this is the equilibrium position where aggregate supply is equal to ad1 as is equal to ad1 so now the initial are at e1 equilibrium o y1 o y1 okay level of equilibrium income and aggregate demand is this one aggregate demand is ad1 is the aggregate demand equilibrium one okay now if autonomous investment increases when investment increases as already i told when investment increases aggregate demand also increases correct when aggregate demand increases means aggregate demand ad1 will shift parallelly and takes the position of ad2 observe dear students here you can see then ad line shift in parallel upwards and assumes the position of ad2 okay now at even equilibrium at even equilibrium if you see aggregate demand is how much aggregate demand demand line is here right now the demand curve has shifted so where it has shifted dear students the demand curve is shifted upward okay now at e1 e1 you can see aggregate demand aggregate demand is here demand curve is here so f okay y1 is aggregate demand and what is aggregate supply aggregate supply curve is here itself e1 so aggregate supply is how much that is e1 y1 that means this is aggregate supply and this one is aggregate demand so at even equilibrium dear students at even equilibrium this is aggregate sub demand aggregate demand and this is aggregate supply okay aggregate supply is how much aggregate supply is equal to y1 e1 and aggregate demand is how much y1 f right y1 f you can see from here to here okay this is aggregate demand and if you consider aggregate supply aggregate supply from here to here so aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply correct so what they are saying y1 f is greater than y1 e1 that means this area this height this height is greater than this height okay you can see in diagram now e1 is no more a equilibrium position here you can see dear students ad is greater than as at y1 level of output by the amount e1 f this much of demand is more and this is due to change in investment right students now due to e1 f of excess demand leads to change in equilibrium so e1 is no more a equilibrium position now which is a new equilibrium position you should go according to uh, the position where aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand to ad ad2 okay so the new equilibrium is e2 e2 is the new equilibrium position to find out a new equilibrium in final goods market we should see where ad okay ad2 intersect as as line so this is no more a equilibrium position 
which is new equilibrium position e2 because at e2 as is equal to ad2 now draw a vertical line to find out a y2 and from e1 draw one line to this vertical line okay dear students now you can see a right triangle here right triangle so here opposite side is equal to adjacent side you can see this one okay so this if you consider right triangle in the right triangle this is equal to this that means e1 g is equal to g e2 and moreover if you consider this okay rectangle box then this is equal to this that means e1 g is equal to y1 y2 now what i want to say with this let me explain here you can see now new equilibrium output and aggregate demand have increased by the amount e1 g e1 g okay and this e1 g is equal to e2 g this one here to here it is here to here okay e2 to g it is equal e1 to g is equal to e2 g as already i told which is greater than the initial increment in the amount of okay increment in autonomous expenditure what is the autonomous expenditure dear students the autonomous expenditure is only this much how much e2 j and here you can see investment increases by this much e1 f and because of this aggregate demand shift from uh, where here ad1 to ad2 and this is denoted by delta i and as this is a rectangle you can see this is a rectangle this opposite sides are equal and because of this reason because of this reason we can say that e2 j is a change in investment so change in investment is e2 j r j e2 j e2 which is equal to e1 f which is equal to e1 f thus an initial increment in autonomous expenditure leads to multiple increase in level of employment and output okay so what is the income change that is income changes from y1 to y2 and we know that from y1 to y2 this is equal to e1 g and we know that this e1 g this e1 g is equal to is equal to g e2 correct so here the initial investment is only this much okay this much but change in income is how much this much e2 g so there is excess of this this excess are you able to, able to understand dear students here this is the investment what we made j e2 but income increases by e2 g so e2 g is greater than e2 j e2 j is change in investment e2 g is change in income so change in income is greater than change in investment and that is due to the effect of multiplier dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much